Wisconsinites headed south this afternoon. The Red Cross volunteers are going to assist those impacted by Hurricane Helene. WNTV, WMTV's Shana Najawin went to meet with them before they left to hear about how they are feeling and what motivated them to lend a hand. It's not easy, but it is so rewarding. Verona native Bonnie Teets is en route to North Carolina to help with Hurricane Helene relief efforts. I changed some plans, so I'm giving up a girl's trip to the UP. You know, when you deploy, you see how it has impacted people's lives. She won't be given any tasks until she arrives on site and the need is assessed. She left unsure of what to expect, but excited. One morning I did a gym class with the kids in the shelter because, you know, these kids had been stuck in the shelter for seven weeks. Yes, this is our first time or my first time that I get to drive the Irv. So and that was one of the one of the jobs that I kind of wanted to do, being that I was a UPS driver for 31 years. Meanwhile, Louise and Kevin Johnson from Stevens Point are headed to Tennessee. It's different watching it on TV than being there in person and actually being able to to help somebody, make somebody smile, make their day with a hot meal or a cup of coffee. It's gonna make a big difference. They have volunteered with Red Cross before, but never during a hurricane this size. But they aren't alone. The Good Samaritans will work alongside other generous individuals who are making the same sacrifice. You're blessed to have that basement full of stuff that needs to get cleaned out because somebody else just lost everything. Yeah, it's really, really a good feeling to know that you're giving of yourself and not expecting anything in return. Though the three deployed this afternoon, their assignments could change at any time. Volunteers must be on standby in case they are needed more somewhere else in the country. In the studio, Shane Najawin, WMTV 15 News.